Can you give us a little backstory from the court's perspective on what's happened, what happened and what's happening with that case? I know it's one that's of considerable interest to people here and elsewhere. I'll say uh, two things about it. Uh, number one, uh, it, the, the uh, case wasn't entirely thrown out, um, and the, the public should just go and read the opinion to see what I mean by that. Number two, I, I kind of view this as a teaching moment, because uh, the answer to your question is, I'm not going to say. I mean, this case is pending before our court. Uh, there is dialogue going on at our court. There's go there, are go there are going to be briefs filed right. in our court. Uh, on the very questions that uh, that article raised and more, uh, maybe less. And we're going to have to go behind closed doors and, and, and make a determination. And, um, and it would be wrong to forecast uh, my vote. You know, of course, I only have one vote, but forecast either my vote or what the court will do substantively uh, with that case. Of course, I'm not, reading, I'm not asking you to tell me in advance what you're going to do. I am asking you to, under, to help us understand procedurally what happened now? We visited a little bit about this beforehand. The fact that the court is reconsidering the case is, should not be automatically interpreted, correct? That the court's going to overturn itself. That's correct. Right. And the fact that the court's willing to reconsider the case, likewise, does not mean that it's going to rehear the case. There's a distinction between that, right? Yes, not necessarily. Well, I mean, what happens is uh, the motion for rehearing was filed, and in, in that case, there were uh, a lot of amicus briefs, and so there was a lot of law being presented to the court. Uh, the court granted the motion for rehearing, and I believe on that same day, uh, set out a briefing schedule to the parties, saying, you know, here's the, here's the schedule for additional briefing on the, the, on the, on the question before us. And, um, and I don't think that briefing has been, has been completed yet. It might be very close. Um, procedurally, what will happen after that briefing is done is the case will come back before the court. And then I'll do this conducting, like I was saying. Right. What, do you, what do we think about this case? And judges will say, uh, who knows? We got it exactly right. We need to change something. We ought to hear oral argument again. Or, um, you know, there, and there may be some other thing that is done. How often does the court make this decision? In other words, is there a recent instance that you can give me of the court weighing in, whether it was entirely throwing a, a settlement or a, a, an amount of money that was uh, given out or partly throwing it out, and then it comes back around and says, actually, we're going to reconsider this case. How often does that happen? In less than 3% than of the cases that we decide um, do we grant rehearing, it's probably closer to 1%. So what that. happened in this case to the degree that you can say? Why this case as opposed to the other 97%? Uh, it, because uh, going around the room, there are votes that said we should hear this again. And the uh, exact reasons uh, in each of the judges' minds uh, might be different. Right. Uh, some might, you know, I mean, it's possible uh, that a vote to rehear means we think we got it wrong. Or it might be a vote to rehear means uh, there's been enough uh, uh, law presented to us that uh, additional clarification would be good for the state so that right. you know, people in these oil and gas situation will know what to do. Um, you acknowledge or, it's rare, though, for something like this to happen. On it's the court. rare, but it's happened a number of times since I've been on the court.